Hello guys, welcome back to my channel BFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see camera projection in Nuke. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside Nuke here. So just I've imported about this image inside Nuke. So just we will create a 3D environment from this 2D image using camera projections. Now first we have to create a, a 3D set or 3D geometry based on this image perspective. So for this just I'm going to use a model builder node. So simply just select this image, press tab and just take a model builder and just take a camera. Now to define this uh, properties one, now press S as for project setting, select this full size format according to your image size here. So which is and then to attain it. So now after this just I am going to build a, a 3D set or 3D geometry from this image using this model builder. So simply just this model builder just we have to connect with this source or with this image and camera just we have to connect with this camera. Now select this one press 1 so now just you can see so this is camera 1 this one now just we are looking through this camera and this camera is locked here. So just uh, first just we have to create this uh, ground plane then all these walls here then this background plane here okay. So simply just double click on this model builder node. Then in this property, first go to this shape defaults, then define these row and columns two by two. Now just we have to click on this card here. Downside you will see add card in progress. So just we have to click. So now just we have to first just we have to create this ground plane. So simply just we can move. So proper perspective just we have to define. So maybe I think so now after the just we have to store all these edges and just we have to cover this front area then we will create all these walls here. So this simply just we have to right click then again uh, click on this mode and just go to this edit mode then just we can select all these edges or vertex. So now just right click and just select this edge selection. So just select this first one then hold shift and just select second one then right click and click on this stood. Then just we have to stood this these edges in G positions. So for this again just we have to go to this default. So just you will see now press F. So just I am getting these edges here. So again just untick this one here. So now just I am looking through over this perspective here. Now press F. So just simply just we can stood these edges. So just you can see these edges here and again just we have to check through this camera so again so again and again just we have to switch from this perspective to this camera view and some pictures we can to so just we have to check and lock this camera then and just this will show you here this now again this one little bit not too much so now I think uh, this is looking good here so this area just I have covered here same as we can store these back edges here so again just we have to sell go to this again perspective and from perspective you just you can also select these edges hold shift now just stored then right click and just stored this one in g position so just you can see so according to a requirement just we have to store these edges even later if you want you can also just modify these things here maybe a little bit i think then after this just I am going to actually store this one then this area just we will cover so for this just we have to select these side edges so again select this one then hold shift and just we have to select all these edges then right click and just store so just we have to cover this area then again right click store in x axis now just we have to cover this wall so again then right click stood and just we can adjust this area even from this perspective usually just we can extend this one here then simply just we can select all these edges again then select this one and then hold a shift and just select all these edges and simply just we have to stood and right click and just click on this stood So 
see maybe I think so just we have to see through about this camera view so maybe I think this one little bit just we have to extend so again just we have to select if this is sufficient then select the each left side edges now just again just we have to check through over this camera I think just I have covered this each area here so for this just we will use another card here and just we will cover this area even later if you want you can you can also extend these edges according to your requirements here I think this is sufficient here then after this just we have to pick this make from our this model builder here so for this simply just double click on this model builder node then go to this model builder so simply you can this one and just we have to click on this bake so now just you can see this one here now just select this one press one so just I'm getting this mess so now just you can see this one here then after this just I'm going to start projections so for this simply just we have to use this camera now just we have to create a basic 3d setup so first we have to take a scene node and connect this model builder with this scene now just take a scan 9 render node this scene input just we have to connect with this scene camera just we have to connect with this camera and this VG actually this is just uh, for defining your frame size but uh, in this project setting I have already defined so this will automatically take this frame size so whichever this image frame size remember this one this one here so now just we have to take a project 3d node so again just take a project 3d node and this camera just we have to connect with this camera this image input just we have to connect with our this image now just we have to check our this projection so select this one press 1 so now just I am getting this projections here so just you can see all these things here so now for this back area here just I am going to use another card so simply press tab and just take a card node and connect this card with this scene and this image input just we have to connect with this project 3d node so now just I am getting this card maybe so just simply first I'll link actually this one so just we can see over this card where is our card so just double click and just we can scale so now just you can see this is our card here so maybe I think 500 and just we have to move in this depth here now just simply double click and just we can move this one maybe at last then we can scale this one according to requirement so maybe I think then just we have to select this image input and just we have to connect with this project 3d node so now just I am also getting this projection in this back area here so now just I have created about this 3d environment from our this 2d image here then after this just we will animate our camera and just we will create our camera animations so now finally just we have to select this can I render press 1 now press tab so just I am getting this result so entire image just I am getting here if you want you can uh, also modify your geometry so simply just connect this camera input with this camera then select this one press 1 double click then again just select this camera then lock this one then just you can adjust this geometry then again we have to bake this geometry and just we have to replace this mess so if you are getting maybe any problem with this geometry so now just select this one press 1 now again press tab so just i am getting this render output here now just i am going to animate our camera now just unlink this one so for just creating a camera animation in this projection just we have to duplicate this camera because for projection just we have to use static camera and for animation just we have to use another camera but in same position so for this just i am going to create a copy of this camera so select this one Control c copy and then control v paste and just connect this scan line render camera input with our this camera and we will animate this camera and just we will create camera animation inside this projections here so for animation just simply we can just double click then simply right click set key then set key then go to this last frame just maybe adjust this g value so now just you can see even a little bit rotations if you want you can also adjust so any parameter just you can animate according to requirements so now just we have to play and just we have to check out this camera animation 
so now just i'm getting this camera animation so simply just you can see so now just you can see so simply just i've created a 3d environment from over this 2d image using camera projections so maybe i think a little bit just we have to also just uh, adjust this g value so again just go to this at last frame and just we can adjust this one i think this is just looking good here so now just i'm getting this actually parallax here and this is moving little bit slower and which is near to this camera this is moving little bit fast so just you can see so simply just i've created over this 3d environment from over this 2d image using camera projection inside new then after this just you can place any 2d or 3d elements into over this 3d environment here so suppose if you want to just create any 3d object and just if you want to place it here then simply just you can just take uh, press tab and just take maybe cube and just connect with this scene so just i'm getting this cube now just take a checkerboard node and just connect with this one then simply just adjust this cube size now press tab so now just i am inside this 3d view so just you can see unlock this camera so this is actually cube which is just i think near to this camera so just we have to adjust this side and just we have to move in g positions here because just we have to play this cube into over this scene here or into over maybe at this position here so just we can adjust this g value here so just scale it here according to requirement so just we have to play this cube on over this ground here even from over this side we just we can also also properly place now press f so just you can see this cube here now press tab and just we have to check through over the 3d view now just you can see and just we can adjust this x value so now if you will play this camera animations so like this if you want you can also place your 2d elements like just you can take a character and just simply just you can remove chroma and just you can place into over this 3d setups here so first we have to check this one then we will also show you here how just we can place our 2d elements you can now this is just moving and just matching this camera movements here so now again just unlock this one so these are actually just only for explanation so this is actually one 2d element so just i'm going to show you here this one select this one press one then i've removed this uh, green skins then just simply just type connected with this card so just i converted this 2d image into over this 3d image now if you will press one so just you can see then simply just we can connect this card with our this scene so unplug this cube and just connect with this card so now just, just so now if you will select this one press one now again press tab so just you can see all these things here so again just we have to define this card positions to adjust this size so now just you can see your character now again just we have to press tab and just we have to check where is our character now just we have to adjust this scale so remember this one just we have to play this character on about this ground so just we have to adjust this y value this again important things here so now just you can see so properly just we have to place on about this ground so i think then just we can place maybe left side so maybe i think so just we have to play and just we have to check so now just you can see so simply just i placed over this 2d element into over this scene here and this is just matching or moving according to over this camera movement here so like this simply just you can create your 3d environment from any 2d image using camera projections so same as just type created about this another this camera animations here so this is about actually another output here so simply just you can play and just you can check this one so guys this is about another example here so simply just you can see so guys till here just type completed over this class so if you like this video 
प्लीज वॉच शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू आर स्टिल नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग